Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today, clicking on this video. If you're new here, I gotta remind you, um, be sure to subscribe down below so I can keep seeing you around here. You can join the Jam Fam. Um, also, if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, today's video is one I have been planning for a long time and I just haven't sat down and done it, but I'm so, so excited. We are going to be talking about personality types. I know right now the Enneagram is very popular. I'm seeing this on like everyone's Instagram story. I just learned about it actually this year um, in college. I'd never heard about it before and I don't think it's a new thing. Something I realized is people love personality tests. We wanna know what <laughs> these tests have to say about us. We've got the Enneagram, we've got Myers-Briggs and there's Harry Potter houses, there's um, horoscopes, there's all these things. We wanna know what these things have to say about us. And you know, I figured why not let you get to know me by taking this test together. I think this is pretty fun. This is more of like an experiment and to see what kind of results we get. I want to start by saying kind of take this with a grain of salt. I don't think any test is going to give you your true identity or that this even determines who you are, but I think this is a fun thing to do. So I am about to turn on the screen recording and we are going to sit and take the Enneagram test together. So as far as I know, I could be doing this wrong, but as far as I can tell, the actual Enneagram Institute test that is like on the Enneagram Institute website seems like it costs money, I think. So I am taking something that is Enneagram it's eclectic any energies what I don't know but the first time I took this test last fall I would used this website and okay so I know what my Enneagram type is but I want to um, I want to take it again to see if I think it still holds true if you know your Enneagram type comment it down below and we can see if you can find some other people with the same type we can all be like oh you're this same does that make sense hope it does Honestly grade each statement, yes is for yes this is really me, partly for this is partly how I am, and no for this is probably not how I am. Okay. I am too strict with myself and others. Um, I'd say partly. I tend to trust most people, yes. Success, prestige, and recognition really matter to me. Oh yes, I wish they didn't. I plan the next adventure before the current one is finished, partly. I love to take care of people and I'm good at it, partly. I want to win the approval of those in authority, sometimes even when I don't really like them. Ooh, yeah, that's really, yeah, <laughs> yes. I often refrain from acting as I'm afraid of being overwhelmed. Like acting as in like theater? I, I don't, I don't like to act. I don't get depressed easily at, if at all. That's true, that really is true. Until I've recently been like struggling with some stuff, that's really not normal for me. I'm pretty domineering. I don't think I'm domineering. I don't I don't think I am. I think I'm more soft-spoken even though I am kind of intense sometimes. Um, it's important for me to be admired by others and many people do admire me. Partly. In most co close relationships I give more than I take. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. It depends on the relationship. I don't see much point in wallowing in negative emotions. When I feel anxious, I tend to throw myself into distracting activities. Yes, yes, and yes. That is um, kind of unhealthy because then I don't process my emotions, but that's like a big thing I do, which is like, yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad, but. Um, I'm always aware of what needs to be corrected. Partly. It's hard for me to put my feelings aside even to get a job done. No, that's, no. I could probably use a little more ambition. No. I'm uncomfortable when people want an emotional response from me. Sometimes? No, actually I don't think so. I think I'm very emotional. For better or for worse, I compare myself to others to assess how I'm doing. Oh. My gut instinct is yes. Even though I think I compare myself to myself a lot. Does that make sense? Like I'll look at me in the past and be like, dang, I was really thriving. Wish I still was, but yeah. I avoid expressing strong emotions. No. <laughs> I don't mind taking a risk, I really like to beat the odds. Um, yeah, I actually think that's true. Even though it is frequently irrational, I sometimes worry whether people are talking about me behind my back. Sometimes. Um, your happiness and your feelings are your responsibility, not mine. Partly. Like, they are your responsibility, but like, I also want to treat you nice. I am more organized than most, yes. Rules annoy me, no, I like rules, I like structure a lot. Um, while I am loyal to myself, I frequently worry that others are not going to be loyal to me. Oh, these are getting harder. Am I more formal than most? I'm sitting here in a tank top and I can't decide. Rules annoy me, no. I'm very loyal to myself and I frequently worry that others... I don't think so. I don't think that's the thing I worry about. I'm highly individualistic, partly. 
I get bored ease more easily than most people and I'm always looking for a new ex not really. I'm a good networker, that's true. I am more loving than most people. I don't know, I'd put partly. I'm quite unobtrusive and easy to get along with. I think I don't think I'm obtrusive. I think I am really easy to get along with. I tend to be pretty easygoing when I meet people. I want to observe and think without giving myself away before I go into action. Um, I think that's true a lot of the time. I'm only on page four. I need to speed this up. So I try to get close to people by being generous with my time and energy and like this is like a big yes. I don't tend to overcommit myself. I have a limited amount of time and energy. Um, no, I, I overcommit myself sometimes. I'm really getting better about that now. I am good at getting things done. Yes. <laughs> I accumulate lots of knowledge to counteract my lack of self-confidence. Oh no, I don't. I wish I knew more facts. Um, it's weak to back down from confrontation. No, I think that's very strong sometimes. It depends. I mean, it depends on, you know, when you love someone, sometimes you do different things. I don't know. I usually just focus on the positive sides of people as focusing on negative traits or events does not make the relationships more harmonious. Yeah. Okay, this last one says, I want to be noticed but it also makes me uncomfortable. Me, every time someone I know starts watching a video of mine in front of me, I get so uncomfy. I'm a brainstormer for every problem. I can think of 10 approaches, partly. It is important to me that I win the respect of others, yeah. Others need my assistance much more than I need theirs. No, I don't think that's true. People see me as a warm and sympathetic person. I hope so, I would say yes. I generally appear calm and even tempered even when I am under an enormous strain, yeah. I want to enjoy things, so I'm not very disciplined. No, I'm very disciplined, so I can enjoy the thing. Does that make sense? I think people think of discipline in a weird way, but I feel like because I discipline certain parts of my life to be very structured and very work-oriented, I can use the rest of my life to just like have fun and do whatever. And I know not everyone does that, but that's like my technique. I am more dramatic than most, uh, partly. I should probably say yes, but no, I think my feelings are valid. Even if I don't have it all together, at least I'm going to seem like I have it all together. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> It's hard to stay passionate and focused. No. I have been told I'm a perfectionist and I suppose it's true. Yeah. Um, the aesthetics of my surrounding has a strong influence on my mood. Yes. I'll do what it takes to be successful. Yeah. It bothers me when people don't say thank you. Yes, say thank you. It's not that hard. Show some gratitude. I seldom comp compromise my principles. Yeah. I enjoy remembering the past even if it's a bit melancholic. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're on the last page now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes I'm too critical of others, but I'm much harder on myself than I am on others. Yeah, that sounds like that was written for me. I'm good at motivating people, I think yes. All right, we're just gonna get the results now and we'll see if it's the same as what I think I am. We'll find out. <laughs> You're most likely a type three. Taking wings into account, you seem to be a three wing two. Okay guys, I actually, when I did this back in like, I don't know how, what, maybe October, November of last year, I got three wing two. I actually thought that because of like, you know, like first year college, some growth, some changing, that was the beginning of the year, this is basically the end. I actually thought I might have changed, but I'm kind of glad to see that I didn't because I personally really so strongly associate with the characteristics of a three. Um, I've read up a lot of like YouTubers and like performer kind of people are threes because I just think that's that personality type. But um, really quick before we're done, I am going to read to you a couple things about threes and then we'll talk about it and we'll wrap up. Some of the names for the type three, I've seen like the achiever, the performer, all these different words. But then um, I've also seen some of the accounts I follow on Instagram about Enneagram are like, we like to use the numbers because not everyone... Um, fits that one word for name. Like not everyone thinks they're the performer, which I have to say, I don't feel like I'm the performer, but like the achiever, I do feel like that fits. But it says the success oriented, pragmatic type, adaptable, excelling, driven, and image conscious. Let me just read you my basic fear and basic desire. That'll tell you stuff about me. It says my basic fear is of being worthless and my basic desire is to feel valuable and worthwhile. Anyways, I am a three wing two, which is the charmer as they call it. Um, which I kind of see. But um, so it says threes are self assured, attractive, and charming, ambitious, competent, and energetic. They can be status conscious and highly driven for advancement. Mm. They are diplomatic and poised, but can also be overly concerned with their image and what others think of them. They typically have problems with workaholism and competitiveness. At their best, they are self accepting, authentic, everything they seem to be. Oh, so it says like healthy levels at their best. They're self accepting, inner directed, and authentic. 
modest and charitable, self-deprecatory humor, and a fullness of heart emerge. Gentle and benevolent. Oh, I would like to be gentle and benevolent. That would be lovely. That's what we're striving for. But then like all the way at its worst, it says fearing failure and humiliation, covetous and of the success of others, and willing to do whatever it takes to preserve the illusion of their superiority. So bad. This is just a brief overview. I'm going to read you like one more thing, but it says... We've named the personality type three the achiever because when they're healthy, threes can really do and achieve great things in the world. They're the stars of human nature and people often look up to them because of their graciousness and personal achievements. Healthy threes know how, it feel, know how good it feels to develop themselves and contribute to their abilities to the world and also enjoy motivating others to feel greater personal achievements than others thought they were capable of. There's a lot about this. So when I read this, I'm like, wow, I'm striving to be a three on this level. That would be so nice. Um, right now, I think I'm in like, there's different levels. There's like healthy, average, and unhealthy. And right now, if I'm being honest, I think I'm in the average to healthy, just based off of like life and stuff. But um, I think, as personality tests go, I think the weight of this is Enneagram, and then I would say Myers-Briggs, and then I would say Harry Potter House. Some people would disagree with me. It's all up to you what you think is true and what isn't, but I do think the Enneagram seems to have like a lot more um, behind it. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I've been seeing a bunch of stuff about it, and I do actually feel like when people tell me what their type is, I do see it being very strong in them. And so that's my Enneagram type, and I'm really interested in that, or I'm really <laughs> kind of surprised that I got the exact same thing, same number, same wing, like so many months later, but I guess that really is probably my personality type. Guess that tells you all a bit about me. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be my next video or not because I am sprinkling in some of the vlogs, but next video I am going to be taking the Myers-Briggs test with y'all and we can talk about that. I think that these are like a really fun way to kind of like check yourself, maybe see if you think these are some of your strengths, because if you do, you can totally use that to your advantage. And you know, it can also like point out areas where you are maybe weaker. And um, I'd say with all this, take it with a grain of salt. But also, I'm like, I just want to have fun with it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please, please, please comment down below what your Enneagram is. I want to know. We can all talk. Let me know if any of y'all are like threes or what you are because I always pay attention to certain numbers because of my like what numbers my friends are. And if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe so you can keep up with this series, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!